Hello viewers who are watching us from different places, from different countries, you're welcome. My name is Joseph Mfangavo. I am the minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this is Time of Joy, the new TV program that we are, we have, we are conducting here. And <clears throat> I would love to share with you a word of God. And today I'm going to speak on how you can survive during storms, how you can survive during tough times. And when I'm speaking of storms, I'm speaking of those moments, those times in life when everything around you it seems to be dying. The time when everybody, all the people that are around you who were on your side are now turning against you. This storm or this time of storms that I'm talking about are the times when your health is shaken the time when your finances, your economy, the time when your marriage, your relationship are in trouble. And I would like to, I would love today to share with you on how now you can, you can survive these storms. You can survive these times, these hard times, when it comes onto your life. So in these difficult moments, uh, you need to have an understanding of the word of God on how you can actually survive when others are dying. On how you can survive when others are perishing. So I'm here not just to motivate you because actually I'm not a motivation speaker, but I'm just here to give you keys and the insights from the word of God that will help you to understand on how you can live and you can survive during these storms, this hard times, how you can really live in a difficult situations, how you can live in a situation uh, where other people are perishing, other people are dropping down, but you can still standing. Uh, so I would love to share with you the um, word of God, of course, from the book of Psalms, uh, 125 verse number one to give you some keys and today of course I will share with you just two keys on how you can survive um, these storms these times when there are difficulties in your life and key number one is to trust in the Lord and when we read on the book of Psalms verse number 125 uh, chapter 125 verse number 1 it says the word of God says those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion which cannot be shaken it endures forever those who trust in the Lord the Bible is saying those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion so who are these people who are trusting in the Lord to trust in the Lord is to trust on what the Lord is saying. When you're saying, I'm, I'm trusting you, 
I'm, Joseph, I'm trusting you. Mary, oh, my friend, I'm trusting you. It means you are trusting what that person is saying. So when you, we are saying that you need to trust the Lord, it really means uh, to trust what God is saying concerning your life. That is to trust the Lord. So the Bible is saying those who are trusting in the Lord are like Mount Zion. The Bible here is comparing these people who trust in the Lord, they're comparing it like Mount Zion. And this mountain that is compared to these people who are trusting in the Lord, who are trusting to the things of the Lord, who are trusting what Lord has said, who are trusting the word of God, have been compared, or we are comparing these people. The Bible is comparing these people um, to, to the Mount Zion. And this mountain Zion cannot be shaken. When the storms comes to shake the mountain, this mountain is, is not shaken. It endures forever. It stays forever. These storms cannot move the mountain. Not because these storms are powerless, but because this mountain is rooted. So the people or somebody who is in the trust, who trusts the Lord, is rooted in the word of God. Because he's trusting the Lord. He's trusting what the Lord has said, what the Lord is saying in his word. So when the trouble is coming, for those who are trusting the Lord, the Bible is saying they cannot be shaken because they are like Mount Zion. You, are not, you cannot be shaken. You are unshakable. You are unshakable. Why are you unshakable? It's just because you trust the Lord. You are trusting the Lord. So trusting the Lord or trusting the word of God gives you a power to survive. A power to survive. And this power is from the word. This power is from the word of God. The word of God gives you power to survive situations, to survive storms. It is the work of the word of God. It gives you roots so that when these storms, when these storms comes into your life, when you are storms of diseases, storms of difficulties in, in, in your marriage, storms that are coming in, in your finances, they cannot shake you because you are rooted, because you are rooted in the, in the word. And that's why we say you need to trust in the Lord. That is a key. Hallelujah. So, when the, everybody, you know, people are used to talk. The people like to talk. And because maybe you, you're sick, maybe you, are, you have cancer, you, have, you are HIV positive, or anything that is in your body, people used to talk. Maybe uh, you are going to die. You, 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 cannot, you cannot survive because of this disease that you are having. You cannot survive. You cannot make it. You cannot survive. Why? Because they're saying, because this disease that you have, it has killed so many people. So many people. And they can even mention some of the names of the people who have been killed with such diseases. They can mention even names of those people who used to be closer to you, even the people who were in your own family. They all died because of such diseases. But for those people who are rooted in the word of God, those people who trust the Lord, the Bible is saying they are like Mount Zion. They are unshakable. So you need to trust that word that the Lord has said. So when the word, 
the whole world is saying you are going to die. You say no. By his stripes, I'm healed. I'm unshakable. That's the word. You are trusting the Lord. You trust what the Lord is saying. That's the very important key. The very practical key that you can really survive during storms. Sometimes people may look onto your background, maybe your family background, your economic status, and say, you cannot make it in life. You cannot make it in life. And of course, they have some reasons to say so because they, have, they, they, know, they know your family. They know some things that is around your, the other members maybe of your family, of your country. They're saying you cannot really survive these situations. You are poor. Your family is poor. You haven't even gone to school. You don't have a degree. You don't have any skill that is needed so that you can even, uh, you can make maybe some money. But that is just the words of the world. But those who are trusting in the Lord cannot be shaken by such words. Because the word is saying, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plan to prosper you. That's what they said to the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you hope and future. So, you are rooted. So, those are storms that are coming. Those words are like storms. You know, when I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about storms, you know, storms is like a... a a heavy winds, a mighty winds that are coming with a lot of things, are coming with dusts, are coming with bottles and so other things. They are coming so that to make sure um, they keep you down, they, to, to make sure that you, you cannot move, you cannot go further. Those are storms. Those are storms. Those are words. The, the words are like storms. They are coming to, to, to drag you down. But because you trust in the Lord, you know that the plans of the Lord is to prosper you. As the word of God says, is to prosper you. The second important key is your speech. What you are saying about yourself. It is very important what you're saying about yourself in the midst of troubles, in the midst of storms, in the midst of chaos, of life chaos. It is important to understand what you speak. You need to understand that what you speak is what you become because words are personalities. Everything was created just by speaking. Even God created heavens and earth and everything by just speaking. He said, let it be light. And it was light. So it is very important during these times to know what you speak about yourself. Do not look the situations or what is happening around you and confess those things. Because confession is very important confession is very important so don't agree to curse yourself don't curse yourself don't curse your life because the devil is a liar what you are seeing that is happening is not a really thing so don't agree to what devil is trying to show you is trying to 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 keep in front of you so you need to correct you need to correct your speech so <clears throat> the very important thing is to correct your speech to speak good things to speak word of god to speak health on your life to speak prosperity even if everything that is surrounding you does not comply with what you're speaking. But everything that you're speaking, every word, 
shall come to pass. You will see the word. So, before you correct your speech, before you correct what you are speaking about yourself, you have first to correct your sight, how you see things that are around you. That's very important. You need to correct your sight. You need to see things in the eyes of God. See things as if God is seeing them so that you can correct even what you speak. So when you see death, you actually speak death. But even in the midst of storms, just try to see life. Just try to see strength so that you can speak it. And from that, then you can correct your doings. You can correct what you are really doing in real life. That are very important. Very important. And I'm telling you, you will survive that situation. That situation you are through, you will survive it. And you will become a victory. Victory is your portion. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror, my dear friend. You are more than a conqueror. That thing that is is trying to, to kill you cannot kill you because you've been rooted by the word of God. Hallelujah. So, I would love to speak these words to you. I would love to pray for you that may God give you the grace, may God give you power through his word so that you can survive so that you cannot die, but you can survive and you can see the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a... By his stripes, you are healed. That disease cannot kill you. That spirit of barrenness cannot take away your marriage. I decree, I declare, children, sons and daughters, from the womb, from your womb. I declare sons and I declare daughters in the name of Jesus. I declare health in the name of Jesus. Your life is perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Child of God, thank you for watching this program and I hope you have been blessed by the program. So if you have been blessed by this program, please don't hesitate to subscribe, to like, to drop your comment, and to share. You are blessed.